FileMaker 17 also enhances the Perform Script and Perform Script on server steps by allowing them to specify a script by name. This is often referred to as indirection or sometimes dynamic scripting or even adaptive scripting. The concept is really simple. Just specify a script name via the calculation dialog. So let's go ahead and try a real simple example. If we come in here and look at this script, we'll see that this script right here specifies by name. Now it looks really long, but actually the formula in here is really simple. I'm just specifying statically inside of quotes the name of the script. So what happens? It runs this script, which simply says script name end in a show custom dialog. So if we run this, you'll see that it just runs out of the script. It's that simple. Now the only thing you have to worry about in these cases is if you change this name, you have to go back to this you know, and change it as well. Uh, normally when you're specifying from list, it's not really remembering the name of the script, it's remembering the ID so you can change the name all you want. So this is a very important little comment here on this that tells you about how to specify a script by name that's in another file. These days most developers create a single file solution most of the time. But sometimes you might have multiple files and need to perform a script by name in another file. It says here that you need to refer to the data source. Right? That's in external data sources. So we need that name. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we go to manage external data sources, I don't have any here, but if I hit new you'll see that it's going to ask me for the name of this data source right up here and then we can add the file which searches in order. This is the name we're referring to. If I put in something like invoices, that's the name it's referring to and what it wants you to specify. So all you have to do when you specify that script, instead of putting script name end, you would put something like my data source, the name you had, two colons and then the name of your script. It's almost like referring to a related field, but this is a data source and not a table occurrence. So really simple to do. And it's really the same on perform script and perform script on server. There's really no differences. Now the reason this was added is really not for simple examples like this. This is just to demonstrate how it works. The reason why it was added is because of dispatch scripts. Now dispatch scripts are kind of hard to define, but basically they're branching scripts. So here's how you would do it before FileMaker 17. You might say, hey, if I got a script parameter of script A, then run script A. If I got a script parameter of B, then run script B. It's, it's essentially hard-coded. Here's how you do it in FileMaker 17. You simply put the parameter right inside the by name calculation, and it runs that script. So we've got some simple examples here. You'll see that if we go into layout mode, the conditional version, which is the FileMaker 16 version, passes along script A. And remember this great little feature here. The optional script parameter is now not hidden inside here. I mean, it's still available here, but you don't have to go in there. It's right there, and you can read it and know what's going on right away. I'm often always leaving on script parameters attached to buttons when I duplicate them and not knowing they're there and then coming back six months later going why is there a script parameter on them? I'm not using it and it confuses you so this just makes it it's just such a simple but really essential feature they've added in there so I'm passing in the script parameter of script A on this one and the same with the perform script by name here same thing so when we run these you'll see that it will run from this button this particular button it will go ahead and run script A in both situations exactly the same it's just that with this one the script by name you have a much shorter script and if you had a really long complex if statement you could get it down to one line to really make it easier to work with 